Not a standard welcome, we know. In today's video, we are forced to interrupt our usual routine. These celebrities were never the same after undergoing plastic surgeries, and we just have to show you the results. Pete Burns. Pete Burns, who is best known as the singer from the hit You Spin Me Round, Like a Record, made a whole documentary about his plastic surgery obsession turned nightmare. People don't think I conform to their idea of what the norm is. That's their problem and not mine. I'm not the norm, I'm not deluded. I'm not the boy next door, I'm the boy next door but one. I hope when I'm 80, when I get to heaven, that God doesn't recognize me. Burns said not long before he died of a cardiac arrest at 57. Mickey Rourke. Sometimes I just get tired of thinking of all the things that I don't want to do, all the things that I don't want to be. Early in his career, Rourke was renowned for his beauty. The 80s hunk with delicate features from nine and a half weeks looks a bit different now, hey? One of the few stars who actually admitted to having lots of work done. Mickey Rourke has gone under the knife to correct the damage he sustained from his boxing career and just couldn't stop. The Bogdanoff Twins Two of the more tragic examples. The fraternal twins were once considered French television heartthrobs and were massively popular in the 80s. By the early 90s, the twins had their first plastic surgeries. The brothers started noticing that time doesn't spare their appearance, so they went for a measure of last resort. However, a simple facelift wasn't the end of it. Although they were known for their boyish good looks, the brothers are now barely recognizable after undergoing multiple plastic surgery procedures. As a result, they have regularly been called freakish and described as cat people by the media. With almost an eerie resemblance to Jocelyn Wildenstein, the Bogdanoff brothers are still injecting and filling into their 70s. Jocelyn Wildenstein Jocelyn Wildenstein is a poster child for plastic surgery gone wrong, says a plastic surgeon, Dr. Young. Jocelyn earned the nickname the Catwoman after she went through over $4 million worth of surgeries to look more feline for her husband. They divorced, he died. And since celebrating her 70th birthday in 2010, Wildenstein has undergone reverse surgeries to tone down her look. Understandably so. Donatella Versace the first thing one notices about the fashion mogul is her overly plump upper lip. It's no secret that Donatella Versace has gone through her fair share of plastic surgery, but the current VP of the Versace group maintains that her youthful look is due to an extensive beauty regimen. It's not like this genetically. I use tons of cream and take care of my hair and skin, says Donatella. Kathy Griffin Kathy Griffin says an obsession with wanting to be Jennifer Aniston led her to some very regretful decisions. Because I'm insecure and I want to be better. In fact, I'd like to be Jennifer Aniston. But, but you look very good and you're not going to be Jennifer Aniston. But I want to be Jennifer Aniston. Why? Because, because then my life would be better and I'd be happy and I'd have everything figured what? out. In her book, A Memoir, according to Kathy Griffin, the comedian includes a photo of a procedure that is so heinous you can't even believe it. It's a picture of her botched liposuction that looks like a CSI crime scene photo, like Kathy was beaten to a pulp. But she calls those images a public service to show women what liposuction really looks like. Jennifer Grey Kathy Griffin said a nose job did nothing to help her career, but for Jennifer Grey, it basically ended her career. Seven years after becoming a superstar, Jennifer Grey made a special appearance on Friends. Fans were excited about her guest starring, but Grey looked so unrecognizable as Mindy that viewers questioned whether it was actually her. Jennifer had such a distinctive face, with her nose being a defining feature like Julia Roberts' lips or Cindy Crawford's mole. So, when she got rhinoplasty, it changed everything. I went in the operating theater a celebrity and came out anonymous. Grey felt like she was in a witness protection program or simply invisible. Jennifer felt the impact was so significant that she even considered changing her name to relaunch her career. However, she eventually got more work in film and TV, starred in a highly underrated 80s-inspired Red Oaks, and even won Dancing with the Stars. Janice Dickinson Janice, I love plastic surgery, I live for plastic surgery Dickinson, is not one to shy away from talking about how she tries to delay the aging process. The infamous supermodel turned reality TV star just loves sharing her procedures with the world. 
saying she's had a breast enlargement, tummy tuck, neck and face lifts, liposuction, and Botox. Courtney Cox. You know, I have done things that I, you know, regret, and luckily there are things that dissolve and go away, so um, that's good because it's not always been my best look. I know, said Courtney Cox when people started telling her she doesn't look like herself. Unlike her friend's co-star Lisa Kudrow, who has said the nose job she got as a teenager was life-altering, Courtney didn't have the same experience going under the knife. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! The actor said many doctors suggest she get fillers now and then, which led to tons of cosmetic enhancements she didn't like. She later had it all reversed, saying, I feel better because I look like myself. I think that I now look more like the person that I was. I hope I do. Tara Reid. In the late 90s and early 2000s, Tara Reid was on course to become America's ditzy sweetheart, starring in American Pie and Van Wilder. After undergoing several botched surgeries, she was forced to experience even more to reverse the work. I had a hernia, this huge bump next to my belly button. As a result, I couldn't wear a bikini. I lost a lot of work. Reed Ewing. This handsome young man and a Modern Family alum said he first went under the knife at just 20 years old. He was convinced that large cheek implants would make him look like Brad Pitt. Instead, he woke up screaming his head off from pain. When the time came to take off the bandages, it was nothing like Reed had ever expected. Overall, he had eight surgeries. He has since stopped, and though Reed says he's not opposed to people having cosmetic procedures, he warned of the dangers. It's a horrible hobby, and it will eat away at you until you have lost all self-esteem and joy, he said. Reed wishes he could go back and undo all the surgeries, as he was fine to begin with and didn't need them at all. I wish I could just, you know, um, talk to my younger self and tell him just don't go through with it. You really don't need it. You look fine. It's just not necessary, you know. It's not, it's not going to make your life happier or better. In fact, it did the exact opposite. Melanie Griffiths. Dakota Johnson's mom didn't know how addicted she'd become to plastic surgery until, quote, people started saying, oh my God, what has she done? Recently, admitting that she gets bullied for her looks, Melanie Griffith says she was so hurt, she went to a different doctor, and he started dissolving all of the shit that this other woman doctor had put in. Rose McGowan. Sometimes you not only have to do a surgery, but also lie about it. Rose McGowan stunned fans just a year after the show about Three Sister Witches ended. Many wondered if she had gone under the knife. Indeed, Rose was undergoing routine surgery, fixing her sinus problem, when doctors messed up and punctured the skin under her left eye. The botched operation led to reconstructive surgery, and McGowan's publicists came up with a bad car accident story we've all heard before. Meg Ryan. Back when Harry met Sally, Meg Ryan was America's sweetheart, capturing the hearts of people worldwide with her natural beauty and girl-next-door charm. Nowadays, fans doubt Harry would ever recognize her. Gene Simmons. Couples who have surgery together stay together. That's what they say. Kiss frontman Gene Simmons went under the knife on his reality TV show Gene Simmons Family Jewels. Not only that, but he convinced his partner of 24 years and his now wife to join him on this surgery adventure. It appears that the couple was ready for new faces, getting his and her facelifts. Aww, how sweet is that? Their kids weren't thrilled, though. When Jean came home after getting the procedure done, their son Nick was horrified, and their daughter Sophie just left the room in tears. He looked like he had been in a bad car accident, she said. Eventually, the performer said he does not recommend plastic surgery to others. Jamie Lee Curtis Before embracing her natural beauty and planning on aging gracefully, Jamie Lee Curtis experimented. I've done it all. I've had a little plastic surgery. I've had a little lipo. I've had a little Botox. And you know what? None of it works. None of it. Ultimately, Jamie pointed out that she believed she looked worse and more like a caricature of herself. And when she attended the Golden Globes earlier this year, she proved just how powerful you could be when you embrace yourself. As soon as Curtis hit the stage, the internet showered her with well-deserved love. 
If I can challenge old ideas about aging, I will feel more and more invigorated. I want to be a new version of the 70-year-old woman. Vital, strong, very physical, very agile. After going viral for her beauty at 62, there's no denying she'll succeed. Kaylee Cuoco. The Big Bang Theory alum never hid the fact that she had a nose job, breast augmentation, the best thing I ever did, and a round of fillers. Reflecting on her decision, Kaylee agrees that as much as you want to love your inner self, you also want to look good. I don't think you should do it for a man or anyone else, but if it makes you feel confident, that's amazing. That's all we have for you today. Which story surprised you the most? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Be well, be kind, and don't forget to subscribe to Rumor Juice and hit that notification bell. And remember, you are beautiful.